Thinkorswim is one of the best platforms out there for options traders and has a number of different ways to place trades. Today, we're going to be diving into the five most popular methods and examples of each of how they're done. Now, the very first and most popular method of trading options within here is through the option chain itself. That chain can be found by opening up the trade page right up here at the top, and then specifically opening up the all products page. Now at the top of this page, you can see the name of the underlying stock that we're looking at right now, which in this case is Google. We can see what the stock is currently trading for, 104.63. But then more importantly, we can then find the option chain down here below. Starting here on the left, we can see all of the dates of expiration available to us, beginning here at the 10th of February and going all the way out to 20 June of 2025. Now coming back up here, if we were to actually click on one of these expiration dates, and in this case, I'm opening up the 17 March expiration. Once opened up, looking down in the center of the screen, we can now see a few of the available strike prices for this stock. If you were to take a look to the left of those strikes, we're going to find all the call options, whereas looking to the right, we're going to find all the put options. When you actually want to buy an option from this screen, you'll be clicking on the asking price to buy, and then when you want to sell, you'll be clicking on the bid price to sell. So just going through a quick example, if we were bullish on this underlying stock and we wanted to buy a call option, taking a look at the strikes right down here in the center, let's say I wanted to buy an at the money call, which in this case would be the 105 strike. Taking a look to the left, because remember, we're going to be buying a call option. We can see it's currently trading for $4.60 by $4.65. In order to buy it, we're going to be clicking on that asking price of $4.70. And as soon as we clicked on that, you can actually see it builds out an order ticket right down here below. Right in here, we can now specify the number of contracts that we wanted to buy, the price at which we wanted to buy it for, the order type we wanted to use, and then when we were actually ready to submit the trade, we would come down here below and hit confirm and send, and then send. You can then see that the order has not only been placed, but it's actually filled as well. And right down here at the bottom, we can see that open option position right here. It says I've got the 105 call, I've got one of them, and it looks like I paid $4.65 for it. But that's going to be the first method on how to trade options within here. The second method will actually be done by adding the options to a watch list and then using that watch list to place the trades themselves. In order to do that, you're going to first need to have a watch list over here on the left hand side, and this is where we're going to add the options. At the moment, I've already got a watch list on my side, and in my case, I've just named it options right here. And now in order to add those option symbols over here, I'm going to come back over to the option chain. And in this case, we're going to leave it on the Google option chain. And to begin, let's say I wanted to add the 105 call, the one that we just traded to that option chain. To do that, we're going to come back over here to the left where the current price of that option is, and we're going to start by right-clicking on it. Then looking in the menu down below, we're going to find where it says add that Google option to a watch list. And in this example, the watch list that we want to add it to is called the options watch list. So we'll come over here to the right and click on that one. As soon as I've done that, you can actually see the option gets added over here on the left-hand side. So right here is that Google March 17th, 105 call. If I also wanted to add the 105 put to that watch list, we'll come back over here to the option chain, and this time we'll find the 105 put, and again, we're simply going to right click on it, come down below where it says add that Google put to the watch list, come over here and select that we want to add it to the options watch list. Now that that's done, if we come back over here to the watch list, we can now create a buy or sell order by clicking on the bid or asking price within these two columns right here. If I wanted to place a buy order to buy that 105 call, just like we did a second ago, I'm going to come here to the current asking price of 470 and simply click on that number. You can then see that as soon as I do, it builds out an order ticket just like before over here on the right hand side to buy one more of those 105 calls. If I instead wanted to sell that 105 call, we can come back over here to the watch list and this time click on the bid price of that 105 call. This time it now builds out a sell order down here below to sell the 105 call. And since I do in fact want to sell that call option, 
We'll now come down here below and hit confirm and send, and then send to actually place it. Now the third method that we'll be talking about is actually by using the chart itself. So to begin, we're gonna start by heading up here to the charts page right up here at the top of our screen. And if we now look below, you can currently see I've got a chart open for Google stock. And since this is currently looking at the underlying stock itself, any orders that we place using this chart right now are gonna be for the stock itself and not for the options. So the very first thing I need to do is pull up the chart for the specific option contract that I wanted to trade. I could do that by simply coming over here to my watch list and actually clicking on the symbol of the option I wanted to put in there. You can see as soon as I click on that 105 call, the chart over here on the right immediately changes to that 105 call option. I could have also done this by copying the option symbol itself and then pasting it right here in this box, and that would be another way to open up the chart. But this way is far easier. But now that we do have the option chart open, and I currently have open the Google March 17th 105 calls, one way to place a trade right here is by simply right clicking on the chart where I'd like to buy the option. So in this case, if we were to look down here below, it looks like the option is currently trading for $4.70. But let's say I only wanted to buy the option if it were to drop down to, right here I've got my mouse at $3.53. So right now, if I were to right click with my mouse right here, a little menu comes up and right here I can now specify that I want to buy the underlying option. You can then see that as soon as I clicked on the buy button within that menu, it actually built out a confirmation box, or at least it built out an order ticket to buy one of the Google 17 March 105 calls at that price at which my mouse was sitting. Just keep in mind that this is gonna use your default template. So in my case, my default is to buy one contract at a time, but yours could be something very, very different. I could of course edit this by simply coming down here below and hitting edit. And right here, I could adjust the parameters just like you normally do. Adjust the number of contracts, the price that you wanted to pay, the order type you wanted to use, and even how long you wanted this order good for. But again, that's gonna be the third method on how to buy or sell options within here. And remember, it's simply right-clicking on the chart itself, then within the menu, either selecting buy if you wanna buy it, or sell if you wanna sell. Pretty straightforward. Now the fourth method, and also one of the fastest ways to trade in here, is through the Active Trader tool. In order to open that up, what we need to do is come over here to the right-hand side toolbar and click on the button marked Active Trader. Now within this tool over here on the left-hand side, you can now place trades either by using the buttons up here at the top to place market orders to buy or sell the option, or by using the pricing ladder down here below to place limit orders or stop orders. I'm only gonna touch on this tool quickly, so if you'd like a more in-depth review on how to use it, check out this video above. But going through it for just a minute, starting up here at the very top where our market order buttons are at, if I were to click on this little arrow on the left-hand side, that will then open up a little box showing us exactly how many contracts we'll be trading anytime we click a button within here. So in this case, because I've got one in here, Anytime I click on a button within this tool, I'll be buying or selling one contract at a time. You can also see a little button down here that currently is marked auto send. And if I check mark that, that will actually get rid of all of the order confirmations, making these orders get submitted even faster. So just to see how that works in practice, if I were to come up here and hit the buy market button, you can see I instantly bought one contract at the market price. So I'm sure you can see why so many day traders love this tool, why they like to use it to get in and out as fast as possible. But I will say the only real downside of using this tool for options is that this top section up here, which normally tells you all of your position information, does not work for options. Right here you would normally see exactly how many contracts we currently hold, the price at which I bought it for, and how much I'm up or down since buying it. So the way I fix that, the way I get around that a little bit, is actually by coming back over here to my watch list on the left-hand side, and you can see here that I've added a couple columns that make this a little bit more useful. The first column right here is a quantity column, showing me how many contracts I currently have, and in this case, you can see I've got one of the 105 calls. To the right of that, you can see the next column is the average price column. So you can see exactly what I bought that contract for. In this case, 473. 
in order to add those columns for yourself you'll just come over here to the gear icon on the far right hand side and then hit the customize button there you can now find those columns that you want to add over here on the left or any other columns that you might find useful and i would really recommend you just check them out and then play with it a little bit find the ones that you like but once you do have them and you hit ok over here coming back over to the active trader tool Besides just using those market order buttons to place buy market or sell market orders, you can also use the pricing ladder down here below in order to place limit orders or stop orders. In order to do that, you're going to find the price right here in the center, and you're going to click to the left or right of that price in order to buy or sell the option. So just as an example, if I wanted to place a limit order to sell that contract that I currently hold, if it ever reached a certain price, I can find that price right here in the center and then come to the right. So in this case, I'm going to put in an order to sell it if it ever hits, let's say 479. I can now come to the right or the asking column, the red column here. And by clicking in that box, I have now placed a limit order to sell this contract if it ever hits 479. I can even see that order over here on the left hand side within my chart it actually is displayed right here and i could even adjust the order by simply clicking on it and dragging it up or dragging it down to the price i want to move it to but again that'll be the fourth method and that's going to be the active trader tool and probably the fastest way to get in and out of an option contract within thinkorswim the fifth and final method will actually be through some other trade buttons within the chart. And if we come over here and get rid of the active trader tool, that's going to be through the use of the trade buttons or through the dashboard buttons. Now, for me personally, I've never been a fan of these tools, but surprisingly, a lot of other people like them. So I wanted you to know they're here. And this is another way to place option trades within here. But all of that should give you a better idea on how to buy and sell options within here. Hopefully you now feel at least a little bit more comfortable with trading them within Thinkorswim. And please feel free to check out this other video next to learn more. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I hope to see you all in the next one.